should be cool, man. What's... Houston is a rooster from Brewster. You don't know nothing about cool. Oh, about to be a he's street. about to lose the match. Five. We got to do something. Six. I'm in Richmond, Virginia. That's why Adam Pierce and Triple H, Triple H, where's Triple H at? You a crafty little genie, huh? But I see right through you, Tommaso Ciampa. Truth. Is it true that you start every morning by singing Susan Boyle's I Dreamed a Dream into a hairbrush while crying? False. What the hell about that? Okay, Trump. It's a good song. I knew it. I knew it. It's a good song. I knew it. It don't mean nothing. What you trying to do, George? Hey, man. Back in time. Our truth created this legendary meme with Wade Barrett. Two peas in a pot. And then, Wade, that you was going to win the Royal Rumble match. And look what happened. <laughs> My name What's up, Pete? Pete? So you're not going to call me Butch? I don't like Butch. You have a great day, Mr. Pete Dunn. Wow. Kurt Angle shrunk. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. What's up, dog? Platinum, multi-platinum, award-winning. Jelly Rolls. Yo, and y'all ain't got no TV in here either. But look, I was looking for y'all team for war games. I just want to say I'm in. Sign me up. Did you win? How did I do? R-Truth has an uncanny ability to bring humor into the WWE ring, and one of his most memorable moments is when he made members of the Judgment Day break character. What's up, DP? Hey, dog. I need to apologize. You, you know what I'm saying? Apologize to me for what? Kicking you out of Judgment Day. Tom and Nick was in my head, bro. We did you dirty. You accept my apology. Don't call Butch Pete. He hates that name. I thought you said you're gonna deal with this. Deal? I'm the one that got the best deal on TV. It was just a simple match with Chopper versus Finn. Oh. Oh, my bad. I didn't know you was afraid of Chopper. Adam, oh. squash that. Cat. I ain't no scaredy cat. Well, what do you talking about? We'll find out who the real scaredy cat is. Okay. Get out of the way. I think we gotta keep JD out. I'm sorry, dog. DP, Yo. you gotta stop calling yourself the boss. It's mommy, man. <laughs> mommy get upset, then mommy. You're a funny guy. I like you. Every single person in this building. Likes are true. What's up? Everybody loves our truth. On the December 18th, 2023 episode of Raw, our truth once again showcased why he's one of WWE's most beloved comedic figures during a hilarious segment with the Judgment Day. The segment was quite funny. At one point, Truth made mommy laugh. When you said you didn't like me, I saw it in your eyes. No, I'll be a happy family. <laughs> Please, Judgment Day match. It's a good idea. You'll lead, dirty dog. R-Truth delivered another hilarious moment when he expressed his desire to be part of the Judgment Day. That segment caught the Judgment Day members off guard. I was born in Charlotte, North Carolina. One day, I'm gonna be in Judgment Day. That dream came true. We've been through a lot together. The Judgment Day is an unbreakable bond. But now that JD is gone, we are real, real family now. Even though I never met Nick, he's still my brother. Live, laugh, and love. Live, laugh, love. We don't even say that. When are we going to stop letting him talk right, for take us? It easy. But even on this, God, he was pretty good. That was funny. All right, guys. Enough. Enough. Our truth storyline with the Judgment Day was pure gold. Whenever Truth got involved in a segment, he made Damien Priest break character. What is wrong with you, man? I think you're a funny guy. At some point, it's not funny anymore, and the crew is not happy. But this is embarrassing. You gotta get serious here. Hey. Uh, yeah, that's serious. Every member of Judgment Day gonna get their cut. 
for my boys, Tom and Nick Mysterio. Is Nick okay? I can't find him on Facebook. All right, Truth. Sell the merch. Tonight's match, you don't tag in. Don't tag in? Don't tag in. Oh, <laughs> gotcha! Our truth never fails to bring humor and entertainment wherever he goes. Entertainment. Brock Lesnar has even chuckled at the truth on two separate occasions. Stand back, guys. Leave him alone. Brock. Please chill, Brock. Chill. 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 You will go flying over that top rope, Paul Heyman. Oh, Heyman? I'm not in the Royal Rumble. Our truth is definitely among wrestling's most comedic personalities ever. This, this is on me. Kane. My bad. <laughs> a little too nice. Kazawa, you think you can trick me by being the nature boy? Uh, the fried fish they had was pretty good, I mean, if I may add. You probably didn't put no tartar sauce on it. I got acrophobia, y'all. Here are spiders. You want to be just like my childhood hero, John Cena. <laughs> the truth getting saved by DX. So At least it wasn't the other two, I guess. In 2016, Roman Reigns, The Usos, and other wrestlers celebrates our truth birthday when SmackDown went off the air. This was a wholesome moment. Our truth, we call him immortal. It's his 50th birthday, y'all. Hey! Whoa! No! Dang! I am not 50 years old! The WWE fan bases has become accustomed to never knowing what's going to come out of our truths mouth. And when Truth appeared on Raw Talk with AJ Styles in 2020, fans were left in total hysterics. Truth asked AJ Styles about his claims that SmackDown was the house that AJ Styles built. Our Truth had hilariously somehow interrupted the statement as Styles being the one to build SmackDown as if SmackDown was a physical building. Truth then proceeded to ask AJ if he also did condominiums and tiny houses. AJ was completely speechless at what was unfolding. Even Raw Talk host Charlie Caruso got involved in comedy antics and she replied to Truth's comments with, That's a great question. That's it from today. Watch more videos showing on the screen, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.